Hello and welcome to my channel. This is the seventh question from chapter two of Convex Optimization book. And in this uh, video, we are going to see that the set of all points that are closer to A than B is a half space and this description of half space is called a Veroni description of half space and if you don't know what a half space is you can refer to the uh, fifth question and I explained that question uh, as well and I will put the link in the description below okay the statement asks us to show that the set of all points that are cl closer to a than b is a half space let me just characterize what we uh, just went over as a, a set so set of all points and the, uh, all these points are points in rn uh, such that the distance between uh, points uh, between uh, all points uh, and a and the distance between all points and B so we have we want points that are closer to a that means the distance between points uh, uh, to a is a uh, uh, smaller than the distance between points to b and that is our set and we want to show this set is a half space well if you don't know what a half space is or you want a very uh, thorough explanation of half space you can refer to exercise five of chapter two from convex optimization book uh, and uh, i will put the uh, the link in the description be be below so uh, before uh, going into the detail let's see uh, what this problem uh, uh, asks us to show pictorially so from that uh, exercise we remember that characterization of a half space which is something like this in n-dimensional space uh, is done by its normal vector so there is a normal vector a that is perpendicular to that half space h so uh, uh, and there would be a, an intersection point by having this vector a and uh, that intersection point uh, we can characterize our half space now we have two different points uh, so how can we characterize points that are closer to a than b so let me just connect these two points uh, a which is a point in rn and b which is a point um, in rn as well so i'm gonna uh, uh, connect these two so if i draw the perpendicular line that cuts this line in half i can say that uh, points that are on this side are points that are closer to a and points that are on the right hand side are points that are um, closer to b but if you just look at what happened here you can see i can have a normal vector in this direction and uh, that direction is b minus a uh, therefore I can have a normal vector along the direction of B minus A uh, and characterize all those points so now we are done what we need to show is to show this rigorously okay I will start from uh, from the inequality that is given because both sides are uh, greater than zero I can uh, square each side 
and get this uh, inequality and we know for all z uh, in rn we can write z transpose times z as the uh, two norm square of a vector and if you don't know what a two norm square is uh, just uh, know that uh, the two norm is defined as uh, z1 squared plus z2 squared plus dot 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 plus zn squared now if i um, use this formula as the inner product i get the, this for the left hand side and this for the right hand side now expand this so we get x times x and uh, uh, x transpose times a and a transpose times x and a transpose times a and uh, we can do the same thing for the right hand side now look at the uh, third and second term uh, these two are scalar and i can uh, flip the the order and write a transpose times x and also here i can write b transpose x if i do that uh, i would get uh, the the fourth uh, the fifth inequality and for this inequality we have uh, a plus here so we get this and uh, for the right hand side i get these two scalars uh, because uh, x transpose x and x transpose x uh, on the previous line get cancelled okay we are left with this inequality and uh, we know from the previous page i can rewrite b transpose b as norm square of b uh, actually this is two norm square of b and we have two norm square of a and on the left hand side i can factor out x and write it here so i would left with 2b transpose and minus uh, mm, uh, two a transpose and we know that we can rewrite that uh, b transpose minus a as b minus a transpose here uh, and now look at what happens uh, so we have c transpose times x where c is two times b minus a and now i have a scalar on the right hand side and this is exactly the definition of a closed half space because we have all the points satisfying this inequality and i have equality for uh this uh less uh, less than or equal sign so that concludes the problem Problem and we uh, are done with the proof thank you for watching my videos and I hope you've enjoyed this video you can support me by liking my videos and giving them a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also it is a very huge uh, help to share my videos with anyone who you think would find them useful have a good day